So I've shown you a bit about uh, how Core can control uh, and host all of the software instruments uh, on your machine. Let's take it to the next logical conclusion. I've got this hardware controller here. Uh, I've got this cool environment. Uh, why not use it live? Uh, Core has a lot of really cool features uh, that make using software instruments live uh, very feasible and very fun. Let's do an example. Uh, let's say I, I have a live set that's going to require uh, a bass sound uh, on the left-hand side of the keyboard. I'll go ahead and load in an analog bass here. Um, how about uh, this one from Pro 53 called 80s Sin Bass? Let's say in my right hand, I want uh, to play a keyboard type instrument. So I'll go into the piano keys category. Uh, I'll hit uh, FM. I want it to be uh, FM sounding. And I'll load this one called uh, Bright E Piano, which is coming from FM7. Here's what the FM7 interface looks like, which I can get into right there. Um, each of these instruments I've loaded in so far, as I showed you previously, has its own rack. Uh, and the parameters of these instruments can be tweaked immediately. Right now, both these sounds are stacked on top of each other because I've just sort of loaded them all in uh, and I've got one big global arrangement. Um, but it's very, very easy for me to create splits and layers and things like that inside Core. I have this cool mapping page where I can hit mapping. On the bottom, I've got what represents a piano keyboard. And then up here uh, on the left-hand side, I can see both the instruments I've loaded in. And if I want, I can just actually click and drag an instrument across and specify where it's going to be on the keyboard. Let's say I want my split to be right there, and I want my bass sound to uh, stop right where the piano starts. And that's what I've done here. That's how simple it is to split things inside Core. Um, let's take it a step further. Let's actually say, in addition to having this cool split, let's add a pad in there for good measure. So I'm going to hit uh, synth, uh, pad, um, how about um, bright? And I've got lots and lots of hits here. I'll load this one called Atmo Sweep. And I can hear that on top of the whole shebang. But let's say I don't actually need that pad right away. Let's say that that pad needs to kick in on another song in my set much further down the line. Here's what you can do inside Core. You can actually utilize functionality called Performance Preset. I'm going to hit the Performance Preset page. And in here I can just start uh, saving states of Core. Let's say for the first song in my set, I don't need this pad, so I'm going to turn it off. In fact, I don't need Electric Piano either. I'm going to turn that one off. Now I've just reclaimed the uh, resources on my CPU that those might be taking up. Then I'm going to go in here and say, yeah, that's what my first song is going to be. Call that song one. I'll come back out. For the second song in my set, let's say I need both the bass and the electric piano, so I'm going to turn the electric piano on. And that's going to be song two in my set. Like so. Let's say for the third song, I don't need either of those, but I do need the pad sound. So I'll turn the pad on. That will be song three. Now I've got these three states. Now via my core controller, uh, if I want, I can actually switch between these three states with one touch of a button. I'm just hitting the up down arrow here and you can see on the, the uh, display that there's the name of the songs I just gave it. And as I start at the top, song two, song three, and it's turning on and off those plugins exactly the way I specified. So I can save a lot of CPU on this, but I didn't have to just turn those plugins on and off. I could have moved the knobs around on them. I could have changed the way, uh, I could have changed the gain on each of those channels, so on and so forth, and then switched between all of those states via the hardware controller. So it makes it very easy. I could have also loaded tons and tons of plugins into this interface but not crashed my machine with all the resources but because, say, maybe only two or three plugins are actually on at one given time. So Core makes it really easy to use software since live. Uh, one final thing, you also have a live screen that is a very, very big kind of, so everyone can read it sort of font if you want to actually look at your screen. Uh, instead of looking at the normal Core interface, you have all these big kind of fonts and you can switch between performance presets uh, with the mouse quickly if you want as well. So lots of cool things going on inside Core on the live side.